I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. Hey guys, what up? Hustler9 here and welcome to the video. So today I am bringing you a gun, another 5 guns we can expect in Battlefield 1. So as you know, Battlefield 1 is gonna be in World War 1. So a lot of people are like, yeah, what kind of guns can we expect? You know, like there weren't really a lot of guns. And actually there were a few, you know, I already covered 5 and I'm gonna cover another 5 and maybe gonna, gonna find more and more, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep up these videos because I really like making these, you know, finding out new weapons and everything and finding new things out about uh, World War 1 and it's actually really interesting what they kind of did with me weapons and everything. So yeah, let's just get into uh, the weapons. So the first one which I'm gonna cover is a shotgun and it is the Winchester model 1897. So a lot of people know just this gun just as a trench gun you know that's just a side name you know but it was used by uh, the Americans and it's just a pump action shotgun and nothing really special but the special thing is uh, uh, that it's a shotgun you know there were or you know they didn't really use shotguns in World War 1 and there was one which I actually used and yeah, I know there's another shotgun, I don't know the name, but in general there aren't really a lot of shotguns in World War 1. So let's get on to the next gun, and it's gonna be the Shao Shot. So sorry for my French pronunciation, it isn't the best, but the Shao Shot is as you can see a light machine gun, and it is a really cool magazine on the under part, you know, and it's curved, which is kind of well it's not weird of gun draft curved magazine but the way it's curved is very very weird and as you can see it yeah it kind of looks weird and it wasn't really reliable actually in World War 1 but I don't think that they're gonna put that in uh, Battlefield 1 but yeah it didn't really have a high fire and everything and it uh, yeah it wasn't the best and reliable weapon as Rora said but the interesting thing about this gun is it is used by actually a lot of countries even by Germany and what they did was they just stole the weapon and then they created a variant of it which is really interesting and we can probably see that in Battlefield 1 you know kind of variants of certain guns but then uh, yeah modified by uh, the Germans or USA or I think USA also had a version of the shell shot but yeah uh, let's get into the next gun and it's gonna be the stair hun so the stair hun is uh, used by Austria Hungary and it has a pretty cool design to it it looks kind of like the M1911 you know it has the same kind of modern design but the interesting thing is that people used it with these really long stocks on the backside, and it also had an option of extended mags. And that means we're gonna get more of these kind of attachments, you know? That's awesome. And I think this could be kind of this uh, accurate uh, pistol we can use over range and everything, because the stock will give you better accuracy and looks pretty awesome, you know? I hope they're gonna do a lot of cool stuff with these uh, guns for World War 1. And the next one is gonna be the Hoof Automatic Rifle. And this gun is be, was used by Canada, of course. You know, Canada, yeah. not as important of land, you know, it's just Canada, but whatever. Um, so the Hoof Gun is just a really weird gun, to be honest. They only made four of them, and it's kind of this LMG type, and yeah, it has a weird barrel, the magazine is kind of, yeah, I don't know, it just looks like a really odd gun, and I think it can be a really cool gun as well, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what to expect from this gun, because they only made four, you know, and are they actually gonna put this in the game? I hope so, and yeah, I, I don't know for sure if they're gonna put it in the game. It would be awesome though. So the last and fifth gun is gonna be the Mexican Mondragon model 
1915. So it was used by Germany, not by Mexico. I don't know why it said Mexican, but whatever. But the special thing about this gun was it had two fire modes. And it was semi-automatic and it also had an automatic version. And I really didn't expect it from this gun, you know. If you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, probably a semi-automatic gun with a, a bit of a longer magazine, you know. But it actually can be in automatic mode, which is really interesting. Because I, yeah, can they do this with more guns, you know, just... Give them two fire modes, you know, I know it was in Battlefield 4, but yeah, that's the future. So, uh, yeah, I am really, yeah, I really want to know what they're going to do with this. Are they going to make the automatic mode in it? That would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, really interesting. So, you know, a lot of questions like, are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? I don't know. So uh, yeah, gunplay is going to be a big question we have no answer for so far. But uh, I can still uh, get you guys uh, loaded up with some 5 weapons we can expect of course. So uh, this was the video and it was part 2 and I'm going to make a part 3, I really want to do it. So yeah, this was the video, if you enjoyed it leave a like and okay, I'm going to say it, let's go for 10 likes, that would be awesome. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this was the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, also a 9 out.